Oh no, what did I do? We have two hours of quadruple XP, Jesus Christ. Hey guys, welcome to the brand new Ark Survival Evolve series. And I know some of you might be really confused right now because we just started the series a little while ago, but let me take a second and explain. So the other day I put out a community post mentioning that I wasn't really too happy with how the current series was going, and ultimately, I came to the decision to cut that series short and start up a brand new one, which is what we're doing here today. So guys, welcome to take two of the final series on Ark Survival Evolved. But before we get into this one, I do want to mention that when this video comes out, it'll be my four-year anniversary here on YouTube, which is just absolutely mind-blowing, but I just wanted to take a second to say thank you guys so, so much for all your support throughout the years. I know it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride with this channel, but guys, I've enjoyed every second of it, and I hope you guys have too. But without further ado, let's get started in take two of the final series on Ark Survival Evolved, and for the last time, let's begin. And of course, guys, as you know, I always seem to spawn in South Zone 1. I don't know what it is about this area, but I guess it's a bit of a nostalgia effect. Because one of the first times spawning in on single player, I spawned here at South Zone 1. And I've always done that pretty much in every series ever since. And I think it's just that idea that every time I spawn in, I get this overwhelming excitement like it's my first time spawning into this game and I think a lot of people get that you know and it might not be South Zone 1 everybody has their own specific place to spawn and that's what we're going to talk about right now so guys question of the day where is your zone where do you like to spawn in on the island are you a South Zone 1 or like me do you like to spawn in the east do you like to spawn in the west do you like to punish yourself and head straight up to the northern region let me know in the comments below and of course, guys, as we're picking some fiber here, there's a couple things that I do want to go over in this series. And first of all, as it comes up in an episode here and there, of course, I'll talk about some of the settings that I've set up for this playthrough. But if you guys want to see the full breakdown, if you want to see all the settings for the series in the right hand corner right about now will be a link sending you over to episode zero. And that is going to be the full settings for this series. And I like them. Obviously, I've kind of perfected it over the years and everything, and I think it's really balanced. It gives you a bit of a grindy experience, but it's not too grindy for single player, in my opinion. But a couple things we'll mention, obviously, right now, because we just gained a level. Uh, XP is staggered, so you guys know I like to do this, where from levels 1 to level 25, we're going to be at 0.25 XP. Uh, level 25 to level 50, we're going to be at 0.5 XP. Once we hit level 50, we'll jump up to 0.75 XP. Once we hit level 75, we'll round it out at 1.0. So we'll do official at that point. But obviously, further down the line, we'll see how we're feeling. Once our character gets to 115, 120, yeah, we might go ahead and bump it up a little bit more. But we'll talk about that later in the future. Oh, that's right. We have all these skins. Let's go ahead and get rid of all these. I know we're going to die multiple times, so I'm totally okay with just dropping those right now. And we're going to put our first level into weight here, and we're going to unlock the hatchet and the spear. So in order to get the hatchet done, let's go ahead and get the pick. And then we're just going to have to break a few rocks, get a little bit of flint here. Another thing I do want to mention is that obviously from the previous series, episode one, I got a lot of feedback from you guys, and that is that it seems like you got... Oh, shoot. The Pego. <laughs> the early game boss, the Pego. We're going to come over this way instead. We'll break these rocks. Um, I got a lot of feedback from you guys for the previous episode one, and it seems like that you guys really want me to stay on the island. So for the beginning part of the series, we are kind of. Let me explain. So this is the last series for Ark Survival Evolved, and I really don't want to limit myself to making rules, restrictions, what have you. Now, I'm going to allow myself to move along freely to any of the maps that I want to, but ultimately when it comes down to boss fights, those specifically will be in order. So good news for you guys. Uh, the first bosses that we're going to be going up against are obviously the Island Guardians, which means probably a decent amount of the first part of this playthrough is going to be specifically on the island. So 
stay tuned for that. I know you guys are definitely looking forward to that and everything. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. But for right now, I'm basically just going around getting all the early game materials. You guys know how this goes. Going to get a decent amount of spears going here. A total of eight right now. We're going to get two more. I think we're going to take on that Pego. Which I know is kind of crazy. It's just that I want to feel safe in this area. And the sad part is I feel... Ooh, 135. Nice. I honestly feel safer with two dime not dimorph, sorry, Dillos around than a Pego, <laughs> which is really funny to kind of think about that. But in the meantime, while those spears are being made, I just like to drop the berries down to my hotbar right now, just as a food source for the meantime. Uh, measure berries always go on the last slot in case we do come across something that wants to be passively fed, which could actually be the Pego. The Pego might end up being our first team, which... I don't want. <laughs> we'll get rid of that, honestly. Um, I think everybody has that creature that they honestly hate, and mine is... You know, it's a toss-up between the Pego and the Microraptor, and I think everybody else is kind of in that same boat. All right, so it looks like the Pego might have moved a little bit, so that's good. We'll get a headshot here, and we'll get a headshot there. Perfect. The biggest thing is I don't want to get snuck up by the Pego. I want to know where it is all times. So maybe we can get a bit of an advantage, but I also don't see it either. Oh, it's all the way down there. Sweet. Okay. It moved all the way down there. Awesome. Okay. So we're not going to really have to deal with that too much. There is a way to deal with them actually relatively easy. Just jump in the water and they won't be able to hit you or anything like that, which is nice. Let's see if we can get a headshot because it's nope, no headshot, but that's fine. All right, almost there. Almost there. There we go, Jesus. <laughs> Took a lot more spears than it needed to there. Yeah, but let's see if we can deal with this Pego, just to make the beaches a little bit safer for us. I don't know what level it is. The compies aren't that big of a deal. Uh, let's drop a few things. We don't actually need the seeds. And we can drop those stems. I'm gonna I am gonna hold on to the narcos. Come on. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Come on. In the water. In the water we go. Alright, there's the pego. Now it'll just hang out here. It shouldn't be able to attack us. There we go. Get a couple hits in. Ah, son of a bitch. <laughs> Damn, got too close to it. Come on, get out of the water, get out of the water. There we go. All right, give me my parry. Ah, I took all my parry, son of a bitch. Okay. It's a level 90 though, Jesus. All right, but the good news is we got another level from that. So let's go ahead and make another spear. As you guys know, I do like to have 10 spears in my inventory at once. So that's kind of what we're going to do. We have a total of 18 points. We're going to go campfire and all of the cloth clothing. So we're looking pretty good there. How much... How much hide do I have? 41. I don't know if that's... Eh, it might be enough. Let's try it. There we go. Cool. All right. So looking at the campfire here, we can pretty much make two campfires right away. We just need a little more stone. So let's go ahead. Let's pick up a few here. I guess I could break a rock or two if I need to. What level is that tech parasaur? Just get an idea of what level you are. You're 18. Okay. Oh, all right. So it looks like the copies are coming after us. I was kind of waiting a bit to get to them, but I guess we'll deal with you now. Oh, get back here. Thank you. I don't know why that happens. Uh, maybe you guys will let me know in the comments and everything, but it seems like if you don't attack them for a little bit, they just start running away. I, I don't get what the reason behind that is, but let's go ahead. Let's get this hide in the meantime. The other two will work themselves back at some point. Oh my God, there's another Pego. Uh, where's the second body? Um, I don't know where the second body is, but... I don't know if I want to deal with another Pego. Maybe I do. Oh, there's the body. There we go. Okay. All right. Second Pego.
There we go. Into the water we go. Come on, buddy. And we'll just hang out right here, and we're pretty much just going to keep stabbing. There we go. Easy peasy. All right, got another level here. Let's go ahead. We'll put that into weight yet again. Gonna have to be careful down here, because it does look like we have a Spino. Most likely we'll have a second Spino down there, too. I just kind of want to comb this area, see what's here. Anything interesting, of course. We do have a couple Dodos, so we'll go ahead and kill those. Get a little bit of XP from that, and then we'll uh, kind of continue on. God, it was nice and peaceful, and then all of a sudden, <laughs> first kill, of course, by the raptor, which, by the way, guys, of course, I'm recording this a little bit early, but pretty much just came out a couple days ago that we have a brand new picture of the raptor in ASA, and this thing looks absolutely incredible, but let's spawn back in. Let's see if we can deal with this raptor. Oh, man. <laughs> it was going so nice and peaceful, guys. I literally just... All I did was I kind of looped around here. I came on down. I went into the little nook, and we were looking all good. We were nice and peaceful. Then all of a sudden... Dead. <laughs> uh, but that's arc for you, of course. Uh, let's see if we can get our stuff and deal with this. Now, the problem is we haven't put anything into movement speed. So... I kind of want to see if I can lure the... Oh, that poor Mo Shops is done for. Go, Mo Shops, go! <laughs> no, 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 don't bring him back towards me! <laughs> Shoot, I want to just get my stuff. That's really, uh... Alright, let's see, let's see. Go, 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 go. Grab, go. Oh, son of a bitch. No, 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 don't come back to me. No, 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 no. All right, let's respawn again. That's going to be a bit of a problem. So, here's what I'm thinking. If I can get my stuff, we'll kind of come back up the beach here towards the trike, and then we'll cross there, because ultimately I want to get up there. Up there is where my base location is going to be, but we'll go over that in a little bit. Now, can I get my stuff? <laughs> Why is it right when... <sighs> of course, right when I'm slowly working myself this way, that's when the raptor comes back into view. Oh my god. All right. So, guys, just so you know, fighting raptors in the water does not work like Pegos. They still will attack. <laughs> oh, man. All right, well, we got our stuff. Hopefully, it's not coming after us anymore. Nope, it's not. Good. All right, let's get rid of the specimen implants. Almost like nothing ever happened. Let's do that. And we have how many campfires? We have two. Perfect. Okay. I kind of want to kill you because you're pretty close to dying anyways. Yeah, screw it. Might as well get the XP from this, right? There we go, nice. All right.
right, what are we missing for some spears? A little bit of wood. Easy. There we go. Let's cap that up. Let's go ahead. Let's also cap up the stone hatchet if I can. I think I can. I don't know where that raptor is anymore. <laughs> uh, man, that raptor is going to come back to haunt us, isn't it? Ah, we'll see. But anyways, I do want to check out this trike before we cross the water. Let's see. You are 60. Okay. You would definitely be able to take on the raptor. 100%. And that was kind of my idea. Originally, I kind of wanted to lure it over here. And then hopefully the Mo Shops would have helped out and ran this way. So then the trike eventually would have gotten involved and we would have been able to get through it. But it is what it is. No big deal. All right. But we're going to cross the water here. We're going to head up towards our new base location, guys. If you recognize this base location, well, you should. It's actually the same base location from my first series here on Ark Survival Evolved. And yeah, I mean, again, we're going with full nostalgia effect and everything. I really want to make a base up in this spot because I don't know. How do you put it? I mean, it's nothing's ever going to be as good as the first time, the first base, the first everything. And I kind of want to bring that back a little bit. So let's go ahead. Let's kill this dodo first. Level five. All right. Well, no level five challenge for this one, unfortunately, but let's go ahead. Let's get a little bit of you. Let's get you two here. Oh, and we got copies. Okay, yay. And here it is. Oh, man. I missed this spot. I am really happy that I'm building a base here, honestly. Now, we're going to put a couple of uh, temporary structures and everything up. Let's go ahead and put two campfires down. Just get a little bit of meat cooking. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's we'll sort by name to make things a little bit easier. Nope, did that the wrong way. 40 split, 20 split, 6. Good. You, the same 40, 27. Perfect. Let's go get a little bit of wood. I'm also going to go ahead and make a couple of storage bins just to kind of lighten the load in our inventory, because the next thing we're actually going to do is going to be a bit controversial. I'm actually excited to see what you guys think in the comments and everything. Some of you guys are going to like this. I'm going to be honest. Some of you guys aren't, but it is what it is. Let's put it that way. You're not going to make everyone happy. And I think for right now, it's just something different that I've never really done in any series. So I want to see if we can actually pull this off and see how it ends up being ultimately. And I'm not saying what it is yet, guys, because you guys will see in the next few minutes here. Uh, let's go ahead and put... Well, first of all, let's unlock the storage box. And I can only make one. Okay, thatch and fiber. That's easy. And then we'll need a little bit more wood, too. All right, guys, so here comes the controversial part in three, two, one. All right, guys, welcome to West Zone 2. And I think when you guys hear West Zone 2, I think you know the exact reason why I'm actually over here. Guys, we're going to be doing the Explorer Note run, actually, for this one. Interestingly enough, I know it gets you a lot of levels. That's obviously the main idea of the Explorer Note run. But guys, we are running on 0.25 XP. So I want to see how many levels you would get by actually doing this entire run. Hopefully we can actually pull it off. Because we're at 0.25 also, I don't expect us to get a crazy amount of levels. Now, don't get me wrong. Obviously, it's the Explorer Note run, and if you guys aren't familiar with what that is, uh, essentially there are Explorer Notes over on this island, over in the beginning stages of the island map, right? And essentially, there's a route that you can go to get the most Explorer Notes in the least amount of time, essentially, getting yourself more XP, getting yourself more levels, and getting yourself closer and closer, pretty much to, like, level 70, I think it, you can get to on official, maybe even higher. Now... 
With us being at 0.25, I'm expecting us to get to around... Obviously, we've already gotten a couple levels along the way here. Our character is currently level 6. So, I'm going to expect probably level 30, level 32, which I know seems like... Well, you're kind of getting rid of, rid of the early game. And although I agree level-wise, I don't agree just... Everything-wise, honestly, we're still going to be just in cloth clothing. Sure, we can make metal. Sure, we can build up to stone already and everything. But it will give us access to Trank Arrows. It will give us access to, obviously, getting into metal tools right away, which would be really nice. I think it's going to be a nice balance is ultimately what I'm getting at. And personally, I feel like I've never really done this in any series. So I want to give it a shot for the final one. And it could either be a really good thing or a really bad thing. You guys will have to determine it in chat. But at this point, too, guys... Hell, this game's been out for eight years. This channel's been built from Ark in the last four years, obviously. I'm okay with kind of getting through the early game-ish a little bit quicker than usual. I think it's, I think at this point, it's okay to uh, step on the uh, brakes, if you will, in that sense. But anyways, just grabbing a little bit of fiber, a little bit of food and everything for this run. So let's kind of get that down to the hot bar here. We'll drop everything else. Ultimately, what we're going to do is, guys, because I do have the Explorer Note narratives on, so we're going to be hearing Helena and stuff like that. I think what I'm going to end up actually doing instead is um, I'm just going to show you each of the Explorer Notes, but it's not going to be like a guide or anything. If you guys are looking for an Explorer Note guide, jump on YouTube. There's a lot of extensive videos that give you the actual map and the direction you should go, the latitude, longitude for each one. Th they go really in-depth with it. For this one, really, guys, I'm looking to see how much XP we get from this. I'm looking to see kind of what level we can get, and then we can start building our base and we can start progressing and everything. So let's head over to the first spot, though, which it should essentially be pretty much right over here. Should be pretty much right over here. Over here? Over here! There it is! Told you guys. Thought I heard something. Anyways, okay. I just want to make sure that I don't end up falling through this, so... There we go. But like I said, guys, this isn't necessarily going to be a guide or anything. I'm just going to do a quick little uh, montage, if you will, of picking these all up, and hopefully something interesting happens along the way. We'll have to see what happens, but... All right, Explorer Note Run, let's get started. Once your fall is complete, stay close to the sentries. Within them... All right, two levels to start with, movement speed. ...still flourish in an otherwise barren garden. Beyond their spheres of influence, you will find an endless sea of decay. The obelisks. All right, next Explorer Note, the Quetzal. And human cargo from one day. Oh, I was All right, so a Rockwell note. Walker again. I am perplexed. All right, As another Rockwell note. Number of test subjects. I just cannot find the passion that I once had for my research. I must give myself more time. The wondrous All right, another Rockwell note. As usual, I have tried to sickness can be All right, lead sickness dossier. The largest fish in the waters around the island. Pachyrannosaurus. Pachyrannosaurus dossier. Found almost everywhere but the island's mountains. Its unique chemical on command. Megatherium formipeda is one of the larger mammals on the island. This is most shocking because it is essentially a giant sloth. So long as you don't intend to fight other tribes. Its enormity, while Kentrosaurus ethiopicus, is considerably smaller than its close relative, Stegosaurus regium, it is much more formidable in matters of self-defense, in a single such impaling maneuver. Leopleurodon magicus is a mid-sized ocean creature, typically between 20 and 25 feet long. Pleurodon is an elusive creature that can harness its Smilodon brutalis as a solitary hunter, generally found in cold areas. The island's mountains are the perfect habitat. I may have called this island this enormous I mean, there are giant obelisks floating in the sky for Pete's sake. Not to mention that cave I found. 
The latest Broth of Enlightenment trials have concluded, and as expected, I am disappointed in the results. Soon enough, I'll have forgotten all about them. And finally, the last explorer note, the Woolly Rhino. Oh my god, I actually got a lot more levels than I thought with this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're at currently level 34. Now, to go over the stats and everything, we are looking at 100 in health. Nothing was put into that. 150 stamina, which is where I'm going to keep it for the remainder of the series. 180 weight, which will continuously build up. And 130 movement speed, which is actually where I'm going to keep it for a long time in the series. We might end up boosting it a little bit more. But for right now, I'm good with 130, which I know is a bit controversial and stuff because... Well, you know, we basically got rid of the early game in a sense, and I get it, but at the same time, I just want to get these levels so we can start really progressing with, like I mentioned before, being the Trank Arrows, being Metal Tools, being a better build so we can go straight into Stone if we want to at this point, plus we have 8,200 seconds of literally just XP essentially. So we're going to get another level or two along the way here. And I do apologize that I'm kind of talking over Helena right now. So I apologize if it's a little tough to hear me, but we're going to go ahead and pretty much just turn off these campfires. We're going to go ahead and get all of our stuff back out here and we'll do a little bit of organization here. So clothing, drop you back down here, drop you back down here. We'll drop the spear here. Food is going to come down to A. We can get rid of you. Measure berries will stay. And azul berries can get chucked. That's cool. Okay. All right. Now let's start organizing. So charcoal, fiber, flint, hide, hide, metal, narco, stim, thatch, and wood. We'll kind of throw everything in there for now. Yeah, screw it. We'll throw everything in there. I think for now we can break you. Nah, we'll leave you for now. Let's go get a little bit of water, though, and we'll get started, because I do want to uh, get a base going and everything here. Nothing too crazy, of course, but I do want to get some form of a base here. Maybe like a two by three, nothing too crazy. And although a bit morbid, ah, we'll take the uh, meat. Why not? I actually thought you would get hide, too, but I guess you don't. No big deal. All right, let's see what kind of XP this gives us, because we are currently running on quadruple XP. So essentially, we're 1.0 right now. We're running official, essentially. So let's see if we can get this kill. This is probably going to get us a level, honestly. It's not, but it got us pretty damn close. <laughs> oh, man. All right, let's get this Dillo. I think that'll basically put us to the next level here. Oh, we got two Dillos, definitely. Where's the music? There it is. It's a little delayed there. I don't know how I feel about that. Come on, buddy. Thank you. Uh, we got another Dillo. Oh, God. Okay. Um, how do I deal with that Dillo? I guess we'll deal with you first. I don't know if this Dillo can kill me. So, why is that happening? <laughs> All right, so it looks like we finally got it out of the ground here. I don't know what the reason for that was. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I've noticed that recently, that like a lot of dinos end up just being inside of the mesh. I've had that definitely a few times. Uh, all right, well, it is what it is. We got ourselves a level from it. Let's see, did we get two levels? Nah, just one level. Okay, so we have 180 in weight. Let's go up to 190. We're currently level 35. Oh my God. Yeah, I know it's a little quick, guys, but it is what it is. <laughs> oh, the complaints in the comments. I can't wait. Anyways, let's go ahead. Let's kill a couple of you guys just to get another level for us. Probably, unless one of these is a 150, then maybe this will be one of our first teams. You're a level five, no. All right, what about you, Greeny? 55, nope. Is that a dodo in the middle of the water? What are you doing? No. Come on, really? 
I need to get you towards land, because I feel like if I knock you out here, you're going to die. Why are you not moving, though? All right, we're going to punch you. Come on, move. Go, 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 go. Yes. All right, keep going. Yep, keep going towards land. All right, I guess we're getting our first tame, guys. I'm not going to lie, I'm a little upset that this guy's here because he's such in a random spot in the middle of the water, and I know I'm going to get a comment or two like, oh, you spawned it in. Yes, of course I did, guys. It's a 150 male dodo. Oh, man, I hope that there's footage. I'll definitely kind of zoom in on that and everything. I hope there's footage of you guys seeing it like a couple minutes earlier in this episode so you guys know that I didn't spawn it in or anything. Um, But yeah, let's knock you out. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. I don't want to kill you. Come on. Come on. Oh, you're starting to get bloody now. Just knock out, man. We're gonna kill it. It's not actually gonna knock out, is it? It's out. Whoa, look at the amount of health left. <gasps> Seven health. Oh my god. Oh man. All right, cool. Let's take a look at the stats here. So 216 in health. It's at currently 7 health. Oh my god. 310 in stam, 75 weight, and 205 melee. And of course, once it's tamed, it'll be a little bit better. Uh, we'll go ahead and give that thing measure berries, but I'm going to let it hang out for a minute or two here. Um, I'm just constantly grabbing some fiber because I do plan on going ahead and building our base. Now, the base isn't going to be too, too crazy, guys. Maybe like a th two by three, nothing too, too nuts for right now. We'll slowly, progressively build it up a little bit more. And I have some plans for this area. There's a couple things that I want to do here, especially with this being the nostalgic base, we'll call it. You know what I mean? So a couple of projects way in the future, but I want to turn this area into a really nice spot. So stay tuned for that. All right, let's look through all 434 engrams. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so starting at level 35, we can already do the long neck rifle, simple rifle ammo. Ooh, we might actually go that route, but that won't be for today's episode. Uh, let's see. So nothing really here that I want to unlock right now. I do want to unlock the sickle, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that unlocked the pick and the hatchet for us. Perfect, okay. Let's see. Probably the water jar. Yeah, let's unlock the water jar. Uh, let's unlock the crossbow. And that'll unlock the slingshot, the bow also. Definitely some stones. So let's go ahead and get a stone foundation here. Let's go ahead and get... Ooh, we're at level 35. Do we have access? We do the reinforced double door. Sweet. Okay, so we'll unlock that. What else? Nothing really stone related specifically. Maybe the fence foundation? Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, because that'll give us the wooden one also. Stone stairs, you know what? That's fine. Trank arrows, of course. The smithy and the forge. The table. The bookshelf. The wooden double door frame. We have 169 points left, so we get a Start slowing up here a bit. Uh, we are going to need some intake. There we go. Yeah, let's do the reservoir. Uh, yeah, let's do the reservoir too. Why not? We'll unlock the raft. Gunpowder. You know what? One second. Oh, I can't move. Just want to make sure you don't wake up. Oh, God, you are actually close to waking up. Let's go. Put that in there. Come on. Eat, buddy. Eat, buddy. 
Are we going to get a perfect team? 74? And it's ours. Not a perfect team. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, but we got ourselves a dodo. Sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and get this stuff from us. Can't move, of course, uh, which is why we're doing this right now. So let's go back down to... Yeah, about here. That's where we were. Okay. Let's see. Wooden stairs, wooden pillar, left and right, ladder, window frame, railing. We're down to 78 points. Maybe we'll do the triangle foundation and the ceiling, even though I don't know if I'm going to use that right this second, but for the future. Bolas, simple bed, spyglass, mortar and pestle, and thatch roof. Perfect. All right, but in the meantime, so we can move, we're going to make a total of two foundations. Perfect. All right, let's get this guy back up to base. Now, guys, in the comments, let me know. Oh, God, there we go. <laughs> uh, get a name for me for this guy. First tame of the series. Let me know in the comments, guys, what we're thinking for this guy. Uh, I genuinely have no idea. So really interested to see what you guys think. Let's get this guy back to base and uh, let's start the build. So, guys, we're back at base here, and I was actually kind of curious. Right now, we're at 7,313 seconds, so I want to see how many minutes that's actually going to be. So, 7,300, roughly, divided by 60 is 121.6. That's 121 minutes of forward time. I have two hours of double XP. No! <laughs> so big. Anyways, I do see that white drop. I was thinking, ah, you know what, guys? It's going to be about 10, 15 minutes of quadruple XP. We're all good. We'll build up the base. No big deal. We have two fucking Oh, no. What did I do? We have two hours of quadruple XP. Jesus Christ. Anyways, I do see this white drop here, so I do want to see if we can get this. I don't know if it's a white with a ring around it. Nah, it's just a normal one. Now, at this point, because we are level 35, we do technically have access all the way up to purple drops, I believe. Uh, we'll take all that. That's fine. But for right now, like I said, I want to start working on the base. And I want to do just a two by three, nothing crazy. It's like what I traditionally do at the start of my series. And the idea is that when we need to expand, we slowly build on to it. Why? Okay. I was about to say, why the hell is there another dodo in the water? there? <laughs> but no, it's a Hesper Ornus. But anyways, all right, let's head back up to base. Now, of course, guys, I know that the 150 is really good. The problem is, is... Is is nice. The problem is, uh, is that that it's a male and we do need a female at some point. So we will have to look into that. But for right now, I'm really happy getting our first max level here on the island. But now we're going to get to building with 120 minutes of not even double XP, quadruple XP. So for right now, yeah, we're going to be running at official at 1.0, essentially. Now, so far, we have a total of... We have a decent amount of fiber, so we're good there. We will need a little bit of thatch, and we'll need a little bit of wood in order to make this. So let's go ahead. Let's start chopping down... You know what? I don't want to chop down trees up here. So let's do it down below, and let's kind of start building this thing up. So we need a total of four more foundations. I do want to go ahead and make some thatch ceilings, and I'll show off why once we start the build, what I want to do with those. But yeah, let's get everything kind of all figured out here. It's going to take a little bit. Well, I guess we'll get the thatch right now while that's rebuilding. All right. There we go. And let's uh, let's grind out some wood and thatch. And hopefully nobody takes that the wrong way. Okay. All right, so after a little bit of finagling, I finally have the foundations down. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, we're actually going to flip the walls, and I kind of like to do this because when it comes to using, like, wood structures, I don't know, just having that piney look on the outside, in my opinion, just looks so much nicer. So essentially what I'm doing here is I'm trying to just get the inside snap point, essentially, which is this right here. And you guys will see pine, pine, perfect pickup. And then we're going to pick you up in the meantime. 
and pick you up also. And that's kind of how it's going to look. And honestly, I really do like how this looks once you get the whole base done, of course. But let's go ahead and let's put the door in. And to do that, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to use a double door frame here. There we go. Pick you up. And now we're going to put the reinforced double door in. Now, the problem with this is I believe it swings out. It does. It is what it is. We could technically fix that if we want, but it kind of messes up the rest of the base. So I really don't want to do that. It is what it is. The door will swing out. Now, for the sides here, we're just going to use normal foundation specifically. Uh, we're going to use normal walls specifically. And the way we're going to do this is pretty much the same thing. So we're going to put down thatch ceilings. And we're essentially going to flip the wall and then rinse and repeat. And we're going to work that all the way around the base here. All right, now that we got the walls up, now we're going to focus on the patio. And how to do that is pretty simple. So I'm going to start off with three foundations. And we're also going to put down a set of stairs. Next thing we're going to do is set up the pillars. And in order to do that, uh, yeah, let's do the pillars first, not the railings yet. So pillars... We're going to first put down a wooden fence foundation and pretty simple. We're going to put it on the inside here and we're going to go ahead and set up the pillars and we're going to put one here against the actual house and we're going to put one here and we're going to rinse and repeat on the opposite side, but we're also going to put one here and here. All right, now that we got the pillars on, next step is the railings. And I've went ahead and actually put this one in just so I know exactly where I need to line up each railing, just so it is exact. Now, that should be correct. Let's see, you, that should be correct, and you, that should be, no, that's not right, is it? That should be correct. You know what I'm going to do? Let's get rid of you, and let's get rid of you, and let's get rid of you. Yeah, it was correct, shoot. Now, the final step is going to be the roof, and in order to do that, that's why we ended up making those six thatch roofs before, and we also have some sloped left and right wooden walls. So, in order to do this, pretty much just click one of them, line them up, flip to the other side, do the same, and rinse and repeat. So, left and left, and we are good. Now, we just got to put in the roofs. We'll put one there, one there, and I just want to get the right snap point with this. Because once we get to here, there's going to be two snap points. There's this inner one and the outer one. Personally, I like using the outer one. So that's what we're going to go with. Uh, same here and same there. There we go. That's our base. Easy peasy. But guys, I think at this point, we are going to wrap up the episode here because, of course, there is a ton more that we can do with this base. Uh, we're going to go ahead, put a bed in there. Uh, we're going to go ahead and upgrade to metal tools. Uh, we're going to do just a little bit of TLC on the inside, a little bit of storage, what have you. But I think we're going to leave that all for the next episode. So, guys... If you found yourself enjoying this one, take a second, make sure to smash that like button. It really helps out the channel. And on top of that, if you guys are excited for the new ARC series, if you guys are excited for ARC content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel out. But guys, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.